holy mackerel. I spent way too much money on fly boxes because I didn't have a strategy before I started buying them. Here's what you should do this week on Catch Guide Outdoors. One strategy to organize your flies is to understand where you're going to go and when you're going to go there. So organize by destination and month because the hatch is different every month of the year. And you find that out by downloading a hatch chart from the internet and then seeing what's gonna be active when you're there. You can implement a one box strategy for the destination and month organization. All you need to do is put your streamers in some of the compartments, put the appropriate dry flies in the other compartments, and then the foam is good for nymphs. But don't do what I did here for this example video. Look how crushed those guys are. Anyway, so that's a one box strategy by destination by month. The second strategy is to organize by fly type. You can put all your drives together, all your nymphs together, and basically you're just down to two boxes and you've got those and you're ready to go. But you're gonna be taking a lot of flies with you that you'll never use because the hatch chart will tell you what is hatching at that particular time in that particular place. So organize by family. And this is the most efficient if you don't want to go with the destination month option that actually requires you to reload a box or uh, have multiple boxes for a particular place. Family strategy is you look across the life cycle of the insect. So you'll have nymphs, you'll have emergers, you'll have dries, you'll have cripples, and, and you will have a couple in each size to mimic what's actually going on on the stream. So you can put all those in, a, in one box, and then you can put your streamers and your bigger flies in another. So that is a two box strategy. A good type of box for that is one of these boxes that has plenty of room. See how deep that is? and you can organize the flies on the leaf compartment. The final strategy is to abandon all thought of organization and just stuff everything into a couple boxes and go. Uh, that'll work as well, and you can sort it out on the stream, and you're certain to have a lot of variety to match whatever's going on. Now one final point on flies. You're going to find, particularly for streamers, that some work better than others. Given that there are many fly patterns that are tied more to attract and catch us anglers rather than fish, you've got to see what actually works on your local water. So you may want to have a separate box for flies that have proven to be effective. So once you're out there fishing and you start catching fish on a fly and you're done with that fly, move it to the box that has your proven winners. And in that way, you'll call out the losers. Plenty of options for fly boxes. You can spend a ton of money, like I did, on all these boxes over time. Or you can figure out what your strategy is going in and only buy the type and number of boxes you need. So comment below if you've got some other good ideas. I appreciate it, and so will the other viewers. Take care. So, save some money. Only buy the boxes you need for the type of flies you're going to use. Comments welcome. Take care.